Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Stacy Brody, and I am a reference and instruction librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we will briefly talk about what editors look for when reviewing manuscripts. In a typical journal article submission process, the editor is the first person to review the article. They look for a few key things to determine whether or not to accept an article for publication. Editors do not give an article a full peer review. They will consider it the novelty of the work and its significance, its relevance to the readers of their journal, adherence to ethics and reporting guidelines, as well as any openness and transparency guidelines, and technical formatting guidelines. First, the journal article considers the novelty of the work. Does the research present new findings? Does the author engage in and add to current debate? Do the references reflect a building on prior work? Not only should the results be novel, but they should add to an active area of research. The results should also be significant, in a sense beyond the statistical. They should be significant, especially to the readership of the journal. Perhaps your work does show significant results. It still might not be the best fit for a journal with broad readership, and more significant instead to a niche field, and therefore more apt to be published in a specific journal. It's not that your work isn't important, it's that it may or may not be significant to the audience the editor is considering while reviewing it. The editor must consider the relevance of your work to their readership. To be accepted, an article must reflect the area or areas of research typically published in that journal. It must be an article type typically appearing in the journal, and it must reflect the type of research of interest to the journal readers. Reviewing the journal's aims and scope and recent tables of contents can reveal whether a journal publishes case reports or is only interested in basic science research. After getting a sense of the type or types of work being published, you will also be able to better tailor the cover letter you submit with your article. Journal editors also look out for key ethics and reporting standards. Did researchers take appropriate measures to protect human subjects? Do they describe ethical approval from relevant committees? If the research reports on a clinical trial, is there a registration number provided? And depending on the type of research, were appropriate reporting guidelines followed? Increasingly, Editors also look for signs of openness and transparency. While clear methods reporting has always been an important criterion for consideration, editors may also look for data and code sharing statements or more clear descriptions of statistical analyses. Check journal requirements and guidelines, ideally toward the beginning of your research process, to identify which materials should be shared and how. Finally, be sure to follow the technical requirements of the journal. If peer review is blinded, remove any identifying features from the manuscript. Format the citations according to journal style. Review whether your manuscript meets page, word, and figure limits. And double check the file types and sizes accepted for submission. This also includes any page numbering, font size and spacing, page margins, and page order. While some publishers are moving to free format submission, this is not universal. universal. You don't want a desk rejection for formatting issues. So when preparing a manuscript for submission, review the journal's aims and scope and recent tables of contents. Read articles from recent issues. What types of be are being published and on what topics? Consider also who most needs to read your research and who would be most interested in the results. These are the types of questions the editors will also be asking. And check publisher formatting requirements. 
check them again, and hit submit. Thank you for your time. And if you enjoyed this video, you can view more of our videos on the Himmelfarb Video Library on the Scholarly Publishing Guide. If you have any questions about any of the material covered in the video today, or questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at sbrody98 at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Team, thank you for listening.